Hi guys, um, my name is Taylor and I am 24 years old and I'm here in Nam Dinh City in northern Vietnam where I teach at Le Hong Phong Gifted High School. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. So, originally I am from Palo Alto, California. I have my trusty map of the United States here. So Palo Alto is in the northern region of California, near San Francisco. And then after, oh, and it's also part of Silicon Valley. So Silicon Valley is what we call uh, this region of California where there are a lot of technology companies such as Google and Facebook. So after I moved, after I graduated high school, I moved to Oregon, where I went to college in Portland, Oregon, at a school called Lewis and Clark College. And then after four years, I moved again across the country to live in New York City. So I wanted to live in New York City after I graduated high, uh, sorry, after I graduated university because I'm an artist and so I wanted to live in our country's cultural and artistic center where there are tons of museums and opportunities for artists to work. In between, I've also lived a few other places, but I won't show you all of them. So while I was in university, I studied art, um, mostly drawing and painting, and also English literature, uh, which I concentrated on modern American literature. And for me, both of these subjects were very closely related. Uh, I think that art is a form of communication in the same way that language is a form of communication and they are both very important for expressing our uh, thoughts, ideas, and creativity. And another thing that I'm passionate about is education. So in the future, I hope to work uh, to maybe be, continue to be a teacher and work in the classroom more, but I also hope to be an advocate and work to help support the presence of the arts in our public education systems in the United States so that students can have access to classes and lessons and materials um, for all kinds of art forms. I think it's very important for students to be able to express themselves and learn to communicate in creative ways. Um, I also, in addition to drawing, I also did uh, acting when I was in university. And I really love writing as well. So, um, what else? A little bit about my family. Um, I have four people in my family. So my sister is 30 years old. She's six and a half years older than me. And she is also a teacher. She works with little um, babies and toddlers. And my parents own two restaurants or cafes. My dad has owned restaurants for my entire life. And I actually worked in them when I was in high school and when I was home from university. So I am very familiar with small businesses and also with American and Italian styles of food. Um, growing up in this business um, and learning from my dad made me have a really strong appreciation for how much you can learn about a culture through its food. So um, an, interesting, an interesting fact about me is that I was actually a vegetarian for 12 years before I came to Vietnam. So that means that I did not eat meat for 12 years before I moved here. Um, because, mostly because I really love animals and um, I didn't want to eat them. 
However, um, since I knew that I was going to move to Vietnam, I knew that I wanted to be able to try all of the different foods here because I think that, as I said, eating different food and learning to make the foods of a, of a specific country can really help you learn its culture and understand its culture. Um, so I've started eating meat since living in Vietnam and I'm really happy with my choice because I think I've learned a lot about this culture through its food. Um, these pictures behind me are of my friends and family and different places I've lived in the United States because I love to move around a lot and travel a lot. And, um, but it's also always very important for me to keep in touch uh, with my family and my friends um, because they're very, they mean so much to me. And so I end up talking on the phone to my mom at least once or twice a week. Um, but I am so happy to be here, even though it's far away from home. I am thrilled with my decision to move to Vietnam, and I've learned so much from my students that I can't wait to take back to my jobs and life in the U.S. So thank you guys. Have a great day.